Hi, my name is Russ. Welcome to Russ's Snippets and Bits. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe. And I hope you enjoy the show. Morning, everybody. It's Russ again. I promised you I would uh, put some more uh, pictures, postcards up. Uh, two weeks ago, I promised you I'd do it. And here it is. Ross's Snippets and Bits. Here it is. A picture of a real photo postcard of the bobbin in. I have two more. Actually, a lot more. How's this one? Try that one on for size. One of the reasons why I I uh, chose the Bobbin Inn was uh, emotional. I have a lot of love for the place as a place. My Uncle Louie, great Uncle Louie, and uh, his wife owned the Bobbin Inn in the 1920s and 30s, uh, purchasing it, I think, uh, uh, or selling it to uh, the Stern Gas family uh, back in the 40s after the war. But that's where it was. And right behind there was the blue urn. Now, what do you mean the blue urn was behind it? Well, here's the bobbin in. That's the way it was. One of the one of the things that on a hot summer night in South Nyack, where the house is not air conditioned in 1949, 1950. You may do with a jump in the car and a ride up to Hook Mountain, walk down the, on the, uh, along the shoreline, or go to uh, the park, with the beach and then stop at my favorite the blue urn oh if you ever if you ever at least two or three flavors on the ice cream cone, a 25 cent hamburger, 15 cent potato chips, French fries, you name it, you got it at the Blue Urn. Many lifeguard lunches were provided to the boys and girls. And it was always a great day for a day date. I have blood, a blood-like for the Bobbin Inn, the Bungalow Colonies, the Blue Urn. In case you're not familiar with Rockland County, it's a good-sized little county in southern New York State that is four seasons, four seasonal area, ice skating, bobsledding, uh, snowshoeing. You can probably find somebody doing that in the winter. Swimming in the river. Uh, and other activities. It's gorgeous. It's leaf peeking, leaf peeping, leaf peeking. You know what I mean. Nyack has been a summer, winter getaway for people since the Native Americans were kind of escorted off their lands. And people have been living and traveling back and forth, up and down, and in, in between Rockland and New York and Manhattan and the Bronx and Brooklyn and Queens, etc. So I'm assuming most of you 
are familiar with where it is. You probably have an aunt and uncle who moved out there when you were five years old. Uh, it's a popular area because it's really quite a lovely place. One of the things that uh, a lot of people are unaware of is the coast of the Hudson River goes from one end of Rockland County, north end, uh, quite a few miles, maybe another 10 miles uh, down the river to the other end of Rockland Lake. The gardens, which you'll see is the title for uh, the Nyack Health and Sport or Rest Home, the garden, People would come up from New York City, rent a room, and use the on-site Russian baths or Turkish baths and go in for vegetarian meals and monitored exercise. The other place, the Boulevard House, in Rockland Lake, not Rockland, New York, but Rockland Lake. The one that I'm talking about exclusively is the one about 30 miles north, 30 minutes north of New York City. For years, it had been operating pretty much as its own resort area. You see, any house that would sleep over five people they probably rented out anywhere in the Nyack Hudson River area, Boulevard House. And it was a place that people would come up and stay for a week, a weekend, usually a week or a weekend. People would get on a day liner, say at uh, eight o'clock in the morning, and they'd be up at uh, Nyack, they'd stop at uh, Main Street, Hook Mountain Park, uh, they would have stopped underneath uh, the Hudson River or under uh, the George Washington Bridge, which hadn't been built yet, uh, up to Bear Mountain, frolic and swim in the sand and beach, change in the changing rooms that they had, go further up to uh, ha the Havistraw area, and go swimming up there, and at the end of the day, come back on a romantic river cruising, beautiful, august boat. That was yours for the pang. Many of you, I'm sure, are familiar with the Hudson River Dayliners, or your ancestors were. This is just a little tease. As you see, the big business was boats. The Hudson River Day Line, to be specific. Down in the lower streets of uh, New York City, down around 10th Street, 12th Street, 5th Avenue, lower 5th Avenue, Broadway, South Broadway, were the day line. Now, this was one that went to and from Poughkeepsie. One of the activities that a family would make, would choose to do on a Saturday or a Sunday or a weekday was to take a ro ride on the Hudson River day line it was called that for good cause. People would go, check themselves onto the, onto the boat, and there they were, commanders of the open seas, the Hudson River, mostly. And it was for a day, $3 for a day, up and down the Hudson River on one of these magnificent Boats. They were all built or started to be built uh, 
after the Civil War. So all of them were kind of similar in build, uh, engineering, and so forth. I enjoyed seeing the postcard pictures. Your childhood home was certainly beautiful. Your hometown sounds like a wonderful place to have started life in a house that size. I'm wondering how many of you there were there living. How many sibling, siblings did you have? And where did you fall in the birth order? I look forward to future episodes. Yeah. To Renna. Thanks, Renna. I was the oldest of three with two younger sisters. I might talk more about the others who share the house with us in later years. After my father died, my mother thought it would be a good idea to rent beds to uh, student teachers in need of a place to call home while they were out finishing up their degrees. We're a bus ride to Manhattan schools and a weekend's ride to many of the state schools. So it made it very convenient for uh, people in need of a home, a temporary home, to get one inexpensively. Uh, we rented to four, uh, to four college students who were finishing, finishing up master's degrees and what have you. So uh, we had students from actually three different colleges uh, staying with us. Uh, we threw another refrigerator in the, in the uh, kitchen, and that was it. Ice cream every night for dinner. <laughs> All the members of some sorority or other uh, each wanted to have a drink with me. So one night they wanted to, they'd order a, a beer or every night I'd have a beer on them. Seventeen. You were 17 and you were drinking? Wasn't that the drink? <laughs> <laughs> and your mother approved of this? My mother didn't care. She didn't care? No. I was taught how to drink as a, at a young age. Really? Yeah. As a young kid? No, my father would water wine down for me. Oh. Uh, he'd put milk in with the um, scotch. Tastes a little like eggnog. <laughs> <laughs> but always drink in moderation. So why are you doing this podcast? It's for fun. Well, what's, what do you hope to accomplish with it? Improve my extemporaneous speaking voice. <laughs> You're doing a good job. I am now because there's no pressure. Uh, what, you feel pressure when the camera's rolling? Yes, you, you seem to get a little testy. And I <laughs> I'm the director. I'm trying to, you know. You're, you're too convincing. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I have to put this together and uh, see what we come up with. Are you done now for the day? Yeah. Okay, well, you need to say goodbye to your audience. Well, it was really nice seeing you guys again. Yeah, you too. So, as I said, it was really nice seeing you guys again. Don't be strangers. Come over, call, come over. I'm sure there's something in the house to eat. Uh, what, do you, what do you call them? Uh, the cookies. You see, what I had done earlier was I cut the Windsor tarts. from the Dolce Bakery. 
And if you'll notice, they've all been cut in little wedges. Accuracy is not important. The fact that you get a cookie cut out is all that we expect. The Dolce Bakery makes a very good Linzer tart. Smart people always know that cookie crumbs are a guy's favorite cookie. The cookie crumbs. Okay, you want to say goodbye now? Come on back. Next time, bring dinner. <laughs>